What are you doing? Hi. Hey, say hi to the camera. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> you boys be nice. Hey, you boys be nice. <laughs> hey guys, this is a family. This is a family channel. <laughs> hi. Look at this guy. <laughs> I got you, don't worry. I got you, don't worry. <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. Sorry it started off a little X-rated, but these boys don't know how to control themselves. <sighs> we got a big project to do. Oh, am I ever excited for this? Ever since those piece of crap roof racks I bought on the back started to rust? Man, all I wanted to do was get rid of them. And today we're fully redesigning the whole roof. Oh, this is gonna be good. All right, you guys, so I clearly got a bunch of things for my, are you ready for this? And what is inside of this thing? Woo. Look at that. One giant storage bin. <sighs> anyway, that's... <laughs> All the dogs are running around here like pigs. I... <laughs> anyway, guys, so today... Um, we clearly got our large order that we ordered from Hitchweb. Uh, thank you, Hitchweb. This stuff came in like a few days after ordering. Super awesome. But we're going to be putting the big Rhino Rack storage bin up on the roof. And three new roof bars. I'm breathing like these guys. Let me try to explain what we're going to be doing. Right now, the solar panels and stuff are mounted on this one in the back. And this thing has been rusting since I bought it. So we're going to be moving these panels up front. These two bars are going to go on the front of the van. And then the new three bars are going back here with the giant storage bin. So first thing on the list is Joseph is going to sit here and disassemble all this while I drink beer. Yeah? Yeah, takes five minutes. <laughs> See, see, Chrome isn't dumb. When it comes to doing stuff, just call everybody you know. First phone call is always the guy with the driveway. Thank you for that too, by yeah. the way. <laughs> Woke me up, actually. Nobody else messages that <laughs> early in the morning. The reason why I like, hold on. <laughs> the reason why I like the Rhino Rack ones is because the track itself is actually aluminum and the end brackets here on the thingamajiggies and the doomahickeys are like a really, really hard plastic. And uh, today what we're doing is John from Vancouver Island, the guy that built my ladder for me, built me these little aluminum. Why is it? Every time I vlog, a crow shows up. You guys ever notice that? Anyway, uh, he built these little aluminum brackets for me and the brackets go, I'll show you on this side. They go over top of here, dropping it down. So when I mount my solar panels to it, the solar panels will kind of be not over top, but right level with these bars, giving it a bit more of a, a streamlined look. Slow down, Joseph. It's not a race. Look at the rust in that hole. Huh? See right there? That's why I'm excited about getting this thing off my freaking roof. When it comes to moving the solar, we didn't disconnect a single thing. Everything has stayed completely connected. Nothing was unplugged. We're literally just moving the panels from the back and mounting them up front here. Come help me open up some boxes. 
Hey, Grizzy, what's in here? Hey. What's in here? What's this? What is that? <laughs> All right, so while Joseph's over there figuring out where to drill the holes in the aluminum brackets, we're gonna go through the boxes that we got from Hitchweb. So these are the end caps brackets for the, uh, for the roof rack. And if you take a look at them, they're pretty damn solid. And when they get bolted to the gutter, these things don't move at all. They come with a little rubber feet on the bottom here as well too. So when it does mount to the actual metal, there's a divide. So this doesn't rub against the roof metal and cause the paint to come off. So um, these things are fully equipped with everything you need. These are the crossbars. This is way wider than my van. So what you do on here is you unscrew this cap here. So once you figure out the length you need on this, you take a zip disc, you cut this back, and then all you gotta do is re-pop this cap back on, boom. Turn this one half a turn, bam, there you go. And you have one locked end cap that's not gonna come off the bar. There's a lot of miscellaneous and extra parts when it comes to all of this stuff. And it gets a little bit confusing when you start to think about what you're going to need to get things mounted. But when I was on the website at Hitchweb, it lines everything up for you. You literally choose the bars you like. And I chose these ones because of the whole little, you know, modern aerodynamic sort of look. The other ones are just a square tube and it looks kind of cheesy and chintzy. But when you select the bars that you want, it gives you all the options you need right there. So you don't need to worry about, okay, what brackets do I need to buy in order to mount this bar <laughs> to these end caps that fit on the gutter mounts. It's kind of great. You just literally select the bars and it adds the entire system to your box, which is super helpful for someone like me. <laughs> you know what's funny? This has instructions. When I opened this last time, when I put in my, if these are instructions, screws. <laughs> When I installed these last time in the Home Depot parking lot, I did it so fast, I didn't even see these. <laughs> it's a good idea to read the instructions, you guys. We'll read that later. <laughs> All right, so on the end of these things here, it's pretty straightforward. This little piece here is what goes into the bottom of the bar here. That's it, you guys. Pretty straightforward and simple. Then you, you obviously bolt everything down as tight as you can, pop the end cap on, and you're gold. Bada boom, just like that. Three roof racks built that easy. That was quick, right? Yep. Yeah, man, they went together super nice and super easy, and they're like, I feel like that. Compared to that other metal one I just pulled off. Oh. Right? That's like a quarter of the way. All right, man. Let's keep going. Yo, what's up, buddy? What's up, brother? What's going on? Not much, Andy. How you doing? Oh, fuck. I just wanted to call you see you. <laughs> we're, uh, we're putting the new roof rack system on the van right now. Joseph's up on the roof drilling some holes. I'm standing here. What's up, and uh, and I'm just standing here with my camera in front of my face, filming our conversation right now. As normal. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, so, so Andy, say hi to the vlog. What's up, everyone? <laughs> everybody having a good night. So ev quarantine. everybody just seen that I have you saved in my phone is Andy the Wood Whisperer. <laughs> 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 These little eye hooks that you see, they're coming off. I was actually going to go down and pick up the screws needed uh, for these caps. But as you can tell all the way across here, we got the screws already. Mad Vatter went out and picked them up for us. And uh, now we won't have to worry about looking at those big hooks. Yeah. Super stoked, bro. Yeah. If it wasn't for this guy, none of this would have been completed today. There is just no way. There's like little shavings everywhere. <laughs> Thank you.
this little thing is pretty impressive. Bro, <laughs> bro, for real. This thing's hardcore. Yeah, I know, it'll be great. I look like I might have to invest in some of this stuff too. Wow. Having a little giggle. You looking good over there, Joseph? Hey, you like my fisherman's hat? Yeah, it looks good. Thanks, man. <laughs> Doing projects like this and remembering to always turn the camera on is not an easy task. Especially when you get, <laughs> Joseph's up there working away. Especially when you get, you know, busy doing something and you get focused and you forget to be like, hey guys, look what's all bolted on the front of the van now. <laughs> like I told you guys before, I am not so great at doing tutorials or how to's. It's more of a, hey guys, let's just hang. Uh oh, <laughs> the foreman has spoken. All right, so while Joseph's up there screwing on the rest of the solar, I am gonna start mounting these bars on the back and getting this stuff all start. He's just securing all the solar. This secures to the gutter by the top bracket going over the top, and this bottom one just clamps right over the bottom you screw these two bolts tight and it just pulls it all nice and snug together. All right. Look at these. what what are these how cool are these things these are the clamps that hold it to the roof rack when you get it on there you spin this lock it right in place bang done when you drop the rack to the roof And his side is going to go through. Those little tracks right there are where these big claws go through. Okay. So these claws are going to change on where these brackets go. Because these are the claws that hold. Oh, like that. Yeah, and then it clamps around the bar. Oh. So that's going to adjust on where we can do it. So let's just secure it to here as far wide as we can. Okay, well, this one's going to have to shimmy that way. All right. And this just tightens down on the bar, just like that. Like, <laughs> it's just, it seems so simple. That's it, tighten her up, lock it. All right, now I'll put the little beauty caps back on there. A little half turn. Oh, I just wanna get all this stuff cleaned up, man. That, my friends, is the very last bolt. Ugh. None of this today would have happened if it wasn't for these two bolts. So, bro fist. Bro, from a six feet distance. Bro fist. <laughs> bro fist. Hey, Marcel, you too. Hey, bro fist. Bro fist. <laughs> bro fist. Over the years, you guys have watched my van go from being just a basic camper van to the outdoor off-grid adventure camper van you guys see here today. 
Over the years, I've made slow changes to it. Now that the inside is complete, it only made sense now to start making some use of the square footage on the roof. So the first time I did business with HitchWeb.com, I bought two Rhino Rack roof bars, the Vortex ones, so cool looking, to mount my Rhino Rack Sunseeker 2 awning to. And that's where it all began, because once I got to see the quality of this stuff, I ended up emailing HitchWeb saying, hey guys, do you want to work together with my channel and get my crew of weirdos a discount code? He said, Chrome, absolutely. So if you guys want to do any shopping with them, use the discount code VANCITYVANLIFE upon checkout and get yourself 5% off. All right, enough talking. It's time to head out on this big summer adventure. Let's go.